contact and once and for all terminate their blundering. The islands of Japan appear best suited for our landing. Number one will be responsible for this initial penetration. Your mission is to reach their scientists. They are the ones to conquer first, especially the one called Professor Komura. into you tonight. I was hoping we'd get the chance to talk. Going to the cafe? Yes, as usual. Here, get under. Oh, thank you. Thank you. the contrary. The doc's always gazing through that telescope of his, so the rain gives his eyes some rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Shall I get you some sake now, Doctor? Would you like me to read Yes, it? please. Doctor, here's my latest article about the saucers. The flying objects which have been reported for the last few days are described by reputed eyewitnesses as flying saucers. So far, there has been no official comment. Doctor, why no comment? What are they? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't know. Doctor, even if you don't positively know, surely you at least have a theory, an idea what these objects are. Could they be secret missiles of some kind? I really don't know anything about them. Oh, Doctor, please. Listen, couldn't you give me some quotation I could publish, Dr. Kamura? A quotation about the saucers. I'd like to, Hoshino. But there's actually nothing at all that I can tell you. Well, could you at least make a guess, Doctor? You have to understand that scientists don't guess at things. Even the wildest hypothesis is based on observation and solid evidence. Hoshino! Don't you see, though? Now, you let him be. He isn't one of those politicians who can answer every question. Good evening. Oh, Mr. Hoshino, hell. Do I still have that assignment? What was that? Oh, no, you don't mean to say you've forgotten. You know, the pictures. Oh, yes, of course. Sure, Thank the you. pictures. Uh, goodbye. Mm. What was that all about? You mean Sankichi? He's a camera fan, you know. Well, I promised I'd print it if he brought me a picture of a flying saucer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happy to, right? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Dr. Kimura, I have a message. Your daughter said she would be delayed at school and she was going to eat supper at her uncle's house. And would you mind eating your dinner here? Oh, all right. Thank you. Don't forget. Mm. Didn't know you had a brother, Doc. Oh, he's not really an uncle. She means my cousin, Matsuda. Matsuda, the physicist, huh? Transparency 18. Image?
any payments are you in the rear? Don't be funny. I've never had any trouble with it before. I still hear something. Yes, very peculiar. Good night, Doctor. Good night. Thank you. Something wrong with the power line, I guess. I suppose so. Well, good night. Good night. Look at those readings. This is amazing. Moyo, take over for me. Yes, sir. Saki, call Dr. Kamur. Yes. Tell him I'm on my way yes, over. Sir. It's urgent. Third quadrant, sector A. The proximal velocity, 28,000. 28,000? Incredible. And sector B, save. No drift. these last few days. Well, I think that they've all been scared away by those flying saucers. Think so? What's that? Some tuna fish. Can't. All right. Good evening. Did Father go? Oh, just a second ago. I see. Did he eat? Mm. Yes, yes, he did. Thank you. Oh, Miss Komura. Excuse me. Did you get any dinner? Oh, yes, thank you. How'd you like a little dessert? No, thank you. I could. Oh, Miss Komura! Miss Komura! Is your father still here? I'm sorry, he isn't. Try the house, though. If he's home, that's all right. Mr. Isobe sent me in case he was still here. He's totally there? Yes. Uh, good night. Good night. Excuse us, we're discussing something quite important. Yes, sir. Now then, Toro. You're convinced this thing is an artificial satellite of some kind, is that it? I'm not certain. But what do you think it is, then, if you don't think it's a satellite? That energy release. But you're quite sure of that acceleration, are you? Yes, sir. Hmm. Well, Toro, I don't know. Doctor, do you suppose there's any truth to these, you know, these reports that are circulating about the flying saucers? Really, Toro? Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? like the one I sighted. That was no meteor. No, you're right. Whatever it is, it wasn't a meteor. I'm sure of that. But what was it? I must have more data before I can formulate a theory. Dr. Kimura, it might have been a flying saucer. Well, might have been a saucer. I can't say it isn't. I'll get back at once.
up to last night, they were just unsubstantiated rumors. There's now no longer any room for doubt. For humanitarian reasons and civic duty, you must issue an explanation. You should understand, on the other hand, that it's not simply a question of issuing a statement, just like that. For example, this so-called saucer. We can't even make an accurate description of the thing. Only how it acts. Then you still have no idea of what it is? No. You saw it last night. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Tokubayan tracking station also reports observing luminous bodies of similar appearance, Doctor. Thank you. Professor Matsuda to see you now. Hello. Hello. Uh, Saki, take over. This Come with is me. Tokyo. Shurikana, India. Yes? Last night we saw a luminous body 200 miles away. I got the same report from London. Yes, I get it. Thank you. Let's see it. Delhi and London report the objects too. Mm. Mm. Even a first step is a mm. problem, merely to identify the object. Any ideas? Let's see. What do you think of using a rocket to take a photograph? Yes, good. The university rocket units are at the range making some tests today. I'll ask Takashima to arrange it. Oh, good. Oh. Rocket range. Professor Takashima, stand by. Yes, sir. Call the rocket range. See if they're ready. Calling rocket range. Are you ready to fire? Yes. Hey, Professor. That's a standby. Are you about ready to go up there? Yes. Please, quickly. Give them the okay.
Let it go. Go! How do you do? I'm sorry to trouble you, Professor, but something very peculiar is going on. You know these crazy reports of monsters we've been getting? Well, fantastic as it seems, there are traces of something on that wall there. I see. Well, suppose we have a look at it. Yes. Look, sir. Down there. Yoshida, the tiger counter. Yes, sir. Well, we'll soon have our picture, thanks to you. I'm glad we could be of service. Lucky we were making that test. <laughs> What's taking them so long? There it comes. Ah. You see, with that new phototropic rock control, we were able to keep the camera pointed right at it. Here it is, sir. Ah, good. Let's see. Ah. There it is. Hmm? How luminous. Yes. Very, yes. Much more than any satellite. Tremendous energy release, judging by the intensity of that light. Very high, yes. Too bad, though, that it isn't clearer. A pity it isn't. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, I'll have prints sent to all the other observatories. Otoro. Yes, Doctor. When I tried to reach your father, I was told he was conducting an investigation at Shibura. Did you hear anything? No. Only that there was talk of some monsters. Oh, another one of those, eh? <laughs> investigating little men from space. Isn't that a fine job for scientists like your father? Well, we can tease him about it when we see him again. <laughs> <laughs> I could eat a horse. Is the father back? Yes, but he's still working. So late? He's analyzing some specimen he brought home. You have any idea what this thing was? No, but he's been in there for hours. Hmm. You just get here. Just this minute. Did those pictures you took help you any? Not really. How about you? Have any luck? Ah, no results at all. Oh, is it really so late? For dinner, yes. But for supper, we're still early. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go eat.
Congress today ordered all member nations to cease launching artificial satellites and missiles within 24 hours. This measure will isolate and make possible the identification of the mysterious flying saucers. Rocket forces of the international organization will attempt to shoot down one of the saucers. A stern warning has been issued against unauthorized launchings after the 24-hour grace period has elapsed. Mysterious, luminous bodies apparently cease activities. World Congress action affected. Well, there's our train. Let's go. He carry our data. See that show? I'm going to. Thank you. monster similar in appearance to those reported in Shibora and other locations in the Tokyo area interrupted tonight's performance at the Metropolitan Theater. The star Miss Hikari Azora has been hospitalized for shock. Tomorrow's performance has been canceled. Ah. Who needs that kind of news frightening everyone half to death? Nah, too much talk of monsters. Ah, I don't like it. Our friend Dr. Komura believes in flying saucers now, all right, eh? Yes, I guess so. Begin immediate surveillance of 
of Dr. Kimura. Number 18 will act as radio contact. I request, sir, that I be allowed to carry out this project myself. It is my idea, after all, and I do know the area better than any of the others. Negative. The risk is too great. Transmutation has never been attempted using a two-dimensional pattern. And we are not certain what effect Earth's atmosphere has on Pyrus. You are too valuable a leader and scientist to risk in an experiment. It is perfectly safe. We can set the transmuter to provide you with the necessary protection simultaneously with the cover of Earthling skin. And only a scientist will be able to achieve the desired results with Kimura and those associated with him. Very well. I bow to your logic. We will prepare the transmuter at once. Good luck, number one. The fate of Ira rests with you. Reprogramming the thing, sir. glad it is all over. We can all relax. Mm. Yes, it was really alarming while it lasted. Yes, yes, really alarming. I must say, I was very uneasy. Those strange creatures. Suppose they were from another planet. Why did they come here? What was their purpose? Conquest, perhaps. What? Do you really think these creatures wanted to invade the Earth? I actually don't know. I only know if they tried, there's really nothing we could do. Is there? <laughs> well, no use speculating. The saucers have disappeared, thank goodness. Nothing more to worry about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What were you doing, reminiscing about your schoolboy prank? <laughs> <laughs> She's right, you know. At least on that score, uh, the young ones do know how to enjoy themselves. Look!
Infiltration a complete success.
about the girls. He had an idea. To identify her? Yes, in a way. She all right? Didn't you see her? Yes, she looked nice. I guess so. It's very strange. It'll be nice if we can find out who she really is. Mm-hmm. Father, when he called just now, had a very peculiar request. Oh, did he? What was it he asked? Drink? Gee. Two oranges. Well, I don't understand it. When Father called a moment ago, he said I should bring him her hat and racket. Well, that is rather odd. I wonder what reason he could possibly have. There she is. Sorry I took so long. Shall we go? All right. Can I see your hat? Of course. before it is too late. Well, that notebook's confidential. You've no business looking at it. No, but now I know I must destroy it. Do you realize the danger such energy potential entails? What's that? Y you mean you understand that formula? Yes, I do. Urium-101, the super explosive. Huh? So strong that even the H-bomb in comparison is a toy. Who are you? How do you know this? When the time comes, you will have your answer. Meanwhile, think about this. There's only evil in power used destructively. Who are you? to me like that. And in any case, my formula was intended for peace, not destruction. It's purely theoretical. We've no way to contain such high energy or facilities to make it. 
And anyway, why are you concerned? Dr. Sobe just called. He said, please meet him at the observatory. It sounds most urgent. Relax. He'll be here any minute now. So, I came right over. Thank goodness. Ah, what's going on? That's just what I want to know. Why are you all so excited? Why? Because I just witnessed something uncanny. What is it? What happened? She took just one look at my formula and understood it. You know those complicated equations? You mean that girl? Of course. That settles it. I'm convinced she is not human. Huh? <laughs> this is rather far-fetched, isn't it? Surely you're not serious. I am quite serious. I was suspicious from the beginning. You remember at the lake? The doctor who examined her said that she had an abnormally high white blood cell count. Yet she was apparently in perfect health. Still, none of this really proves anything. Very well. Look at this. Here are fingerprints taken from her tennis racket. You see, there is absolutely no pattern. Mm. I also have a few other things I'd like you to examine. Here, this is cellular material taken from the inside of the cap she was wearing today. Please compare it with these specimens from the dockside at Chabora. You'll see they are virtually identical. Then what's your theory? That she's really some kind of a monster? Beyond any doubt. She's certainly not human. A creature from another world in disguise. Now hold on just a second. I must say that interesting as all this is, it really is stretching things to base so radical a conclusion merely on the evidence you have here. There is more evidence. This afternoon, Toro and Heiko both saw her jump well over her own height. No human being, not even a trained athlete, is capable of such a jump. And apparently, also, she is able to dematerialize and pass through closed doors. Is that enough evidence for you? Assuming that you're right, and she is from another planet, why is she here? I'm afraid only she can answer that. Am I a human being? Then please explain. Why are you here? Oh, where did you come from? All right. I come from another planet, as Dr. Sobe guessed. Pyra. Pyra. And what's the name we know it under? Pyra is unknown to the Earth. We are situated exactly opposite you, on the other side of the sun. The sun is always between us. Well, then, how did you know we existed? Our explorers discovered Earth long ago. We have observed you for thousands of years. Preposterous. Surely you're exaggerating the amount of time. Actually, we made landings over 4,000 years ago. Our civilization is far more advanced than yours. We have had an observation satellite scanning Earth for several centuries. You know it as the asteroid Hermes. I, I just don't... It's incredible, that's all. Incredible. But I still don't see why you destroyed my notes today. And how you knew what the formula was as soon as you saw it. Because Pyrons made this discovery years ago. Although it was never used because it was so hard to control. We did not need so powerful an explosive. 
Durium is so strong, even in microscopic quantities, it is dangerous. It can only be handled in a magnetic field. Since our culture does not recognize aggression, we destroyed the formula. Oh, this is fascinating, but you haven't told us what you are doing here. To save the Earth from destruction. Destruction? I do not exaggerate. Unless we cooperate to prevent it, both our planets are doomed. Although we were aware of Earth's existence, we did not reveal ourselves till this threat of catastrophe made it necessary. Because Parda and Earth share orbits, our astronomers realized that Earth's danger also menaced us. We have always been in contact. But until now, we did not reveal ourselves to you because we did not need to. What is this disaster? This catastrophe you speak of that threatens to destroy us all. We have been keeping track of a runaway planet from another galaxy. Now we are positive it is on a collision course with Earth. We also know that if we cooperate, there is a good chance we can succeed in preventing the collision. Well, well, what does one say when he's told in so many words the world is coming to an end? There is one possibility we have thought of. If you can induce those nations with stockpiles of atomic weapons to cooperate, it might be possible to use them in a barrage to change the planet's course. Will it work? Do you think so? Theoretically. Such a gigantic blast should affect the speed and direction of the planet and avert the collision. We have to try. It's our only chance. We should appeal at once. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a special report. Doctors Komura, Matsuda, and Isobe made an appeal today to the World Congress Relay a warning. They claim came from another planet of an impending collision which could destroy the Earth. The three scientists have appealed for the use of Earth's entire stockpile of hydrogen and atom bombs to blast this runaway planet R out of its present collision course with Earth. This information was conveyed by a visitor from space from the planet Pyra. The scientists say the saucers and other phenomena observed recently were due to the activities of the Pyrans attempting to communicate and warn us. Though capable of assuming human appearance, Pirates in their natural form must wear that strange protective clothing which gave rise to the reports of monsters. Because they are in a twin orbit with Earth, they have made themselves known to us, since the doom threatening the Earth would spell disaster for them as well. The scientific world, as well as international government agencies, is pressing our scientists for further information on Pyra and the pirates. Meanwhile, the report... Science fiction. It's a lot of nonsense. Pyra, how silly. Sounds more like a toothpaste than a platter, doesn't it? Let's see if we can call them. attention? Dr. Matsuda? Yes. Are you going to issue a statement? As you all know, the World Congress has refused our request for aid. And why? Because they couldn't believe the accuracy and truth as stated. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait a moment, please. Naturally, we're disappointed, but we're sure we're right and we'll be vindicated. Not only about pirates, but also the Earth's annihilation through this planet they compute is on a collision course with us. There is now only one thing left, to make our own preparations while trying to get the others to listen so that the World Congress is ready to act when they agree. 
I'm sure they'll agree, because my Pyron informant estimates the rate of approach of Planet R will bring it into range of our instruments in 15 days. Planet comes within range of your telescopes. Is that correct, Doctor? Yes, it is. And we shall then be able to make direct observations. Is there any means of coping with it? Yes, there is. Through the use of multiple atom and H bombs, we expect to be able to alter our course or completely destroy it. Are you sure the World Congress will cooperate? Certainly, once they're convinced. If not, we'll be destroyed. Is there nothing at all we can do then? Surprisingly, one of my colleagues discovered something that could work, theoretically at least. Ah, what is it, Doctor? An explosive energy source even more powerful than the A or H bombs. Colleague, you say, Doctor? Yes, uh, Dr. Matsuda. Ah, Matsuda, thank you. There's an article about you in the newspaper, dear. Really? What is it? They say you've discovered a very powerful new explosive. It's only theoretical. I suppose they didn't mention that. But the biggest problem is producing it mechanically. No one has the skill or technical capacity. Excuse me, a gentleman to see you, Dr. Matsuta. I told you I was at home to no one. Yes, sir. But he insisted. He said he knew you were here. Who is he? George Saito is his name, Doctor. May I see the car? Here. All right, I'll see him. Tell him I'll be here. Yes, sir. Oh, I just don't feel right. I think I'll go on to the observatory after. Yes, sir. Oh, please sit down. Thank you. I'm sorry I cannot give you much time, but uh, I am in a bit of a hurry. All right, Doctor. I will be quite brief. Oh, thank you. I'll get right to the point. I want to buy your formula. How much do you want for it? I do buy. I doubt if you're aware, Doctor, just how valuable it is. Mrs. Saito, who are you? A most unselfish friend, let us say. But what could you do with it? Sell it to one of my clients. What sort of traitor are you? Traitor? But I'm not a Japanese. And why or what are you? As I said, a friend. friend. I, I want no such friends. Get out. You are not welcome in this house. I'm sorry to see you take that attitude, Doctor. Get out of this house at once. <laughs> Till we meet again, Doctor. Who's that awful man? He's a devil.
exactly as predicted. We'll let you look at it one at a time. It seems to be traveling very fast. Gentlemen, please, don't push. Would you like to see it, Mother? Yes, this is Tokyo calling. Is this Sydney Observatory? Do you read me? Yes, I've got it. Have you spotted it? Yes, we just saw it. Coming. Right, keep in touch. Thank you. I'll stand by. Professor, how soon before we collide? Fifty days from today. But we'll be scorched long before then. Can't we provide shelter from the heat? It might help for a time. But our only hope to avoid collision is blasting it off course with atomic and hydrogen bombs. The World Congress must help us! They must be convinced now! What are they going to do? Wait until it's too late? Yes! We must appeal again! Special bulletin. According to reports just received, the World Congress has convened an emergency session to reconsider Japan's proposal for the use of atomic weapons against planet Earth. Is there anything you can do to prevent them, Doctor? May I have your attention? As Chief of Police, I shall issue orders to evacuate the city of Tokyo. I'm sorry the shelter isn't large enough for all you parents and mine. We are getting very panicky in the city. We are grateful that at least you'll be safe. Yes, yeah. we'll take good care of her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good day. You'll be a good girl. Do what you teach you, can't you? We'll see you soon. Oh, good girl. Goodbye. Say goodbye, darling. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 have increased, Doctor. If acceleration continues, we'll soon see this planet of ours with the naked eye. Any report yet? I'm afraid not. All right then, Toro, let's move everything to shelter. Yes, sir. All right, let's get the files down there to start. Uh, uh, who are you? Why are you doing this? Shut up and get in there! Uh, go on! Let me go! Why let go of me? I'm all right, that'll do. Huh? Saito. I told you we'd meet again, Doctor. Oh, 
what's the meaning of this? What, why have you brought me here? To let you reconsider my offer. I'll reconsider nothing. This is kidnapping. Oh, now, really, that's such a harsh word, Doctor. I prefer things on a friendly basis, don't you? I am ready to make a very generous offer. You could live like a king in South America, for instance. Let me go, I tell you. I have no interest in your office. I'm afraid you don't understand, Doctor. I really want your formula. <laughs> Do you really think I'd let you get away so easily, Doctor? You want to fly? Can't we here tell we rot? But you are not going to get one single word of that formula for me. <laughs> You're really difficult to convince. Just what good will the formula do you when the planet R collides with us? And we're all dead. I don't believe in these fairy tales of yours, Doctor. And my patience is at an end. Make him talk. All right, children, carefully. One at a time. Don't push. That's right. Uh, don't run, Shoji. That's right. Hold on now. I see. Thank you. I think you'd better come on over yourself now. Yes. Matsuda left several hours ago to come over here. Hmm. What's taking so long? If the World Congress doesn't act, and they haven't yet. There's only one chance, and that's his formula. But even if we get the formula now, no one knows how to produce it. I knew where my husband was. Now I'm sure he's all right. He's probably just gone to another shelter, that's all. All right, children. All fixed. Now let's all help pick up these papers. That's it. Carefully now. Fine. Don't tear any. There's a pile there. Very good. Dr. Kamura! Dr. Astor! What is it? It's accelerating again! Acceleration now steady. No further increase in velocity apparent. Brightness now minus 15. All right, okay. Do you have a revised estimate? Collision within 20 days, sir. Oh! We must appeal to the World Congress again. I don't understand what they could be waiting for. Please, an important announcement. The World Congress, in special meeting just ended, has reversed 
its decision on the Japanese proposal to divert planet R. At 8 p.m. Japan time, they will launch an atomic barrage against the intruder. Oh, wonderful, at last, oh, finally. <laughs> hey, listen, everybody, hey, hear this. You know what they're going to do tonight? They're going to try and shoot that planet off. They're going to take a whole lot of bombs and blow it up. Ray! All right, now. There. There we are. Yes, we'll go. We'll have a story. happening. Doctor, what is it? They had no effect. Nothing at all happened. And because Sleeping Beauty looked so lovely, Prince Charming couldn't help kissing her. And then the spell was broken and everyone woke up. Then Beauty and the Prince and lived happily ever after. Did you like it? Good. Now let's all go to sleep. It's terrible. What? Our missiles are powerless. They have no effect on planet R. Increasing in brightness by the minute. Our distance now. Five days to collision. Doctor, what is it? Get him some water. Yes. Give him room. Let's get Let him, him breathe. Gently now. Yes.
Matsuda's wearing one of our rings. There should not be any difficulty finding him. Just how will wearing one of your rings help? Each ring is a combined radio receiver transmitter and made of special material to show well on radar. Come. the equipment for a Yorium bomb. Oh. But we have to have the formula.
Matilda. That's better. Try to rest quietly. <laughs> Watch. Listen. Nine, Countdown. Eight. Seven. Six. 